Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you one scenario where we want to create a new table based on the values on another table. So what I mean by that let me just show you a scenario and hopefully uh, if you are facing this scenario then it will be very easy for you to get the desired output or let's say you have landed after searching this particular scenario then this will be easy for you. So what I have is this table if you see this is what I have is a dummy project or a dummy sheet or a dummy data where I have the name sorry it start with project number name and project manager who is the project manager. So we have the uh, name of the project data center construction who is the project manager the dummy names and uh, the project number right and then what we have is the in another data sheet we have the active project so we can see that okay we are running all of these projects but project number 03 is no longer active and if i just expand that and increase the font size for you values and if i just increase this okay so we have these projects and it with the help of the active projects we are showing that p04 p01 is basically the active project but this is not the one right so all in all in the back end if you see these are two different tables in this data view this is our sheet one or table one where we have the name pm and project number and then we have another table where we just have the list of active projects right and then we have what we have done in the back end we have combined the active project with project number simply by dragging the active project on the project number that way these two tables are connected okay so what do we want is we basically want a new table where we are only getting the details of the uh, of these this, uh, active projects right so maybe a situation like where you want the list so here you have hundreds or thousands of projects right but in this new table only this these projects should come so that you are able to get the desired outcome and it's a new table and you can work with that so that is a quick scenario which i will show you with the help of uh, custom table calculation as to how you can use the calculate table and create the new table altogether before that just a quick information that if you have landed very first time on my channel then you should know that i maintain this uh, google sheet which is here and here i keep a track of all of my videos on power bi and the link is present over here so idea is that you can search any of my previous videos very easily look at this list and jump on the link over here also some exercises related videos that I have put and the exercise link using the workout awareness day site is something I have put it over here and uh, at the top I have a quick information about if you need advanced dashboard training then you can reach out. Okay with that let me move on to the power BI. Okay so we'll continue with the same scenario we want to only get P01, P02, P04 from this sheet that means it should exclude the p03 over here so what we can do is to create a new table make sure you are in this data view you need to click on this new table right and then after that you basically need a function uh, or maybe you can say active project details right that means active project list and project details you have combined and said it is active and you will use the function called calculate table and here in calculate table you have table and filter so the way we were going to do that is we will first write the table one uh, sorry the sheet one comma and in filter what we were going to write is sheet two as a parameter okay and close it so ultimately what we are doing is we are filtering the sheet one with the values in sheet two okay and as you press enter or you click this sign what you get as an outcome is just those projects p01 p02 p01 p02 and then who is the project manager and the output that is a very quick and easy way if you have been scratching your head like uh, do you have to do inner join or if you have to create this in a front end or maybe some other scenario where you don't have the table but you want to join this 
based on some sort of an expression then you can simply use this very simple calculation and get the desired output that means you are creating a new table based on the specific values in this uh, of this table active projects right so that's something which i wanted to show you and now you can view the new table over here if i copy and paste so that i don't have to do the formatting and i'll show you the new table by removing first of all these values over here and active project details is here so we'll first bring the project number project name and uh, project manager right so these three tables right so what do what do you get is here you have the entire list and this is how the information is coming and now in this new table you are just working with this uh, custom data or a new table based on your specific requirement so Hopefully you have will find this useful and be able to implement it easily in your uh, scenario with that I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.